Da, 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 da. Good morning, Connections. Good morning, Connections. Welcome to the pre-show. I am Andy. And I am Lexi, and we are happy that you are here today. Always happy that you're here with us. Hey, Lex, how are you? I, sorry, <laughs> before I go, direct you as always to our QR code. Before I forget, that's our digital Connections card. We'd love to hear from you. Whether you've been watching a long time or this is your first time. Yes. We want to say hello. Yep. And thank you for joining us. Yes, as always. Anyway, back to what I was about to say. How was your week, Lexi? It was great. I took the week off of work, and Ooh. I went up north to Houghton Lake with oh. a crew of friends from the church. If any of you know Jackie and Cam Van Zyl, they're a cool couple. Oh. And Jackie's grandparents have a lake house Oh, cool! up north, so we went, and I got to spend some quality time with good people, good conversations, lots of laughs. We played a lot of games because it was raining a few days good, we were yeah. there. What yeah. kind of games? Like card games? Oh, board my games? gosh. What's it called? It's kind of like... Oh, Magic the Gathering. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I learned how to play that. Okay. But what, do you play that, Andy? I don't, but I have a lot of friends that do. Oh, that makes sense. And it gets, it can get pretty, pretty expensive too, because those cards get really expensive. Oh, like yeah. Some of them are hundreds of thousands of dollars for one card. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was probably the most complex game I learned. Yeah, it's. But a lot. It's we not, played a lot of different card games and board games. Like we played Ticket to Ride, and oh. yeah, it was super fun. Uno. No Uno. There no was no Uno, Uno being played. Oh my gosh, you could have, and you could have taught them spicy Uno. There were the games were more intense, more complex than Uno. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I gotcha. But it was super fun. Cool. How about you, Andy? What did you do this week? Uh, worked. Went and saw Oppenheimer. How was it? It was good. Long. Mm. Uh, but not in a bad way, but it's like one of those movies you get done watching and it's like, well, I saw that. Don't have to watch that again anytime soon. It's just, it's not a like upbeat movie because you know, it's, but, you know, it's yeah. about dropping a bomb. So, yes. Or making the bomb. It's not really about dropping it, thankfully. They kind of, it's not, it's more of all the stuff going into it and how complex of a person Oppenheimer was. So, mm. but yeah. And yeah, then that's other what I haven't that, seen yet. Thursday night, caught like a cold from Skylar. Friday, it was harsh. Saturday, I felt a lot better. And today, I'm feeling like 100% better than what I did the other day. Good. So, I'm yeah. glad you didn't come to church sick. I would never do that to people. Love it. Mm -hmm. um, on the topic of just new movies, have yeah. you seen the Barbie movie yet? Uh, no, but it's on my list. I need to see it. Did you see it? I did. Did you, I, uh, did you enjoy it? I didn't even want to see it. My mom <laughs> kind of forced me Dragged to see you it. Dragged to see it? Um, and I was pleasantly surprised by how much I liked it. So you're I saying, was, and I, I was not expecting... I this is the closest I have to pink. It's salmon. But yeah, I don't work. have any pink either. But yeah, I was surprised how much I liked it. I have like a ton of friends online went and saw it and they were like, great movie. Like just super fun, wonderful. So I was like, all right. I was, I was going to see it anyway. Now I really want to see it. They kind of like push, push some boundaries in it. And I don't think it's a bad thing. I was no, like, no. wow, they really just did that in the Barbie movie. <laughs> in and a Barbie the, movie. Yeah. And the costumes and like the art part of it oh, was what had yeah. me. Very... Like my stylistic. It was just eye candy the whole time, and my eyes were like ah, and my mouth was like hey, watering. Sometimes, hey, that's part partly what movies are. It's a, it's a visual medium. It's and art. It, but yeah, it is art. Hey, <laughs> we're talking about movies. Our sermon series is about movies. What? What a transition. Uh, <laughs> we <laughs> we are continuing that today, of course, and this is an awesome time. I love when our church does things that aren't, and I don't want to sound rude, churchy. Because it's cool to take secular movies and show how, even though they don't mean it, the Bible can be found in it, and you can find ways that the Bible is speaks to us. It's literally in through, everything. It's in literally everything. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Even if people don't want it to be, it's there. It be there. It be there. So uh, this is really awesome. You can go back. You can watch our past three weeks worth. There's been some excellent stuff. Perry will continue that today. And then there's one more message in this series. So Did this is you... a great time to invite friends. Oh, yeah. This is a get good them one. All, get them all turned on to church but that way because it's like, oh, what are we going to talk about? Oh, they're going to talk about movies. Yes. <laughs> so. Did you see the sermon today? I did. Do you remember the movie? Uh, yep. You'll have to tune in and watch it. But I'm going to go home after this and watch it myself again. Ooh, it's you're not telling them? No, they have to watch. I'm not going to give them a spoiler. You guys have to watch and find out what movie it is. 
we also have a new church app. Because I don't know if you guys have tried, but for weeks and months, the app has been not responding. But apparently, it's even no longer in the app stores. So when people were searching for it, couldn't find it. But we have a new app, so you can stay connected to us. And what is that app called, Lexi? Church Center. Church Center. This is not like a connections in particular app. This is an app that a lot of churches will use. Yep. Um, so when you download the app, you'll have to search Connections Community Church. Yep. Click on our church and make sure that you are you're following sure along you the Make sure you look right for church. our cool spinny logo. That will be the main way to find out. And I do know, I think they're working on having the QR code. If you click it, it can oh, take, take you, you to right it there. and take you right to us Perfect. so you can sign up that way. But it's really easy to use. I've had it for a couple years because we've used it for like scheduling stuff. And okay. it's been really helpful. And I think it'll be really good for the whole church because it's an app that, you know, people that... A bunch of churches use, so that way it stays updated and it stays there and the app store doesn't just let it go to the wayside. Right, right. So. Yeah, because we kind of want to be using an app and we haven't been able to with our yep. with our old app. So. Like, I had new new friends come to church. This was a month or two ago. Oh, and, yeah. I got to and meet, I was, yeah. Yes, and I was trying to, like, be like, oh, yeah, here's, download our app. You We're can, so like, cool. We got it. Yada, app. yada. And, that doesn't work. And then they, like, searched in the app store, and it wasn't showing up. And I was like, well, that's embarrassing. I just told them to do something that's <laughs> Boy, not there. Do I have egg on my face? <laughs> I wonder where that phrase came from. I've never heard that phrase You've before. you never heard that? Egg on your face? Boy, I have egg on my face? Yeah. I've never heard that. You know what? During... You know, this will be a perfect time to turn it over to (laughs) Elizabeth so I can quickly Google where that phrase came from and make sure I'm getting it right. Maybe it's pancake on your face. Who knows? No, it's not pancake. It's egg in your face. We'll get back to you. Anyway, take it over, Elizabeth. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I'm here with one of my favorite people of all time, Ben Michigan. Okay, Ben, I have a question for you. Batman or Superman? Uh, Batman. Why? Uh, Because he's the Dark Knight. Of course, because why? Why else? Yeah, I don't, do you I like don't. do you like his voice? Can you talk like Batman? Uh, I don't think I can talk, but you try. Yeah. Just just try. Uh, I don't think I can try. Just say I'm Batman. I'm Batman. That was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was perfect. All right, thank Thanks, Ben. All right, let's go over here. Hello. Oh. I have a question for you. Right. Toy Story or Cars? Ooh. Toy Story. Yeah, why? Well, because I just like the whole cowboy and space guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just think it's super fun, and the characters were awesome, and hey, the music. So good. So good. Well, I hope you have a great morning. Thank you. You as well. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Let's go. Justin, you're carrying an iPad, so I'm going to ask you this question. Are you ready? Yeah. Twilight or Harry Potter? What's Twilight? You know what Twilight is. I know. Right, I do. (laughs) Team Jacob. No. No. Edward. Wait, which one's the good one? Edward. I like Harry Potter. Thanks, Justin. All right. Hi, I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. All right. Beauty and the Beast or Aladdin? Mm, Aladdin. Yeah, why? It's got better songs. Oh, I agree. Yeah. All right. Let's go find... I don't know where else to go. We're going to the front door. Okay. We're going to... Hi, Perry. All right. We're going to ask... We're going to ask John... Going to the front door. Hey, John, I got a question for you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Back to the Future or Breakfast Club? Breakfast Club. Why Breakfast Club? Because it's a better movie. It's a better movie. Wow. What about you? Um, I'm going to ask you a different one. Avengers or Justice League? Uh, Avengers. Are just, neither one. I don't like either one. Neither one. Neither one. All right. Andy and Lexi, Die Hard or Top Gun? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. (sighs) Die hard. All day. All day. I know. All day. It depends on what I'm in the mood to watch. You know. Because they're both five star movies. I I thought it was funny because like as Elizabeth was asking all the questions, Andy and I were answering here. Yeah. Watching. And him and I had different answers for literally Almost every, all of them, every yeah. single one. Uh, first off, whoever says, hey, I love Breakfast Club. It is a classic. But Back to the Future is literally one of the few perfect movies that has ever been made. 
Uh, it's true. I don't know. I said Breakfast Club. That's okay. You can be wrong. Right in no, right in your own head. Andy. Yeah, I know. All right, let's get back to business here. Oh, I didn't say I have to keep going because I know uh, Top Top Gun is a five star movie. Depends on what I'm in the mood oh, for. Oh, we're still going with uh, it. Okay. I'm, I'm not okay. stopping on this. Right. If we're in the mood for <laughs> like our hero, who is a reluctant hero, as in Die Hard, who's thrust into a like crazy situation that he's not ready for, that's when I'm in the mood to watch that. If I want to watch somebody who's confident and needs to be knocked down a peg to then learn and become a better person, Top Gun. Sometimes you want some meaning behind your movie. Sometimes you just want eye candy. And in that case, I'll go watch. I'll go watch Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. And Aladdin trumps Beauty and the Beast all day long. It's funnier. Songs are better. Animation's better. Boom, boom, boom. Those were my two favorite movies growing up. Like that was a that was a tricky question for me, picking between Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin. Uh, one, but I have to say Beauty and the Beast. One song lyric does it for me. A hundred bad guys with swords. Best, best, swords. best part of the movie. Not swords. 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 He says swords. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Big serve is coming, and we want you to mark these dates down. That's August 26th and 27th. Lexi, why don't you give them a quick brief rundown for those who are watching for the first time what Big Serve is. Sure. So every year, our church has been doing this for years and years now. We take one weekend in the summer. It's always in August. Yep. And we go out as a church into our community. And we don't have church on Sunday. And so the Saturday, Sunday, we go out and we just serve our community. So that might be uh, fellow residents in the area. We might go and serve and take care of, you know, projects around their houses. Um, we might, yep. right, we might go to businesses. We've gone to schools in the past. Yep. And we just take care of yard work. We take care of, you know, some indoor stuff that might need help. We have we some, just, like, crazy talented people here who are good with, like, handyman stuff. There's people who... Just you, you show up to these places sometimes and things are all overgrown because somebody can't, you know, get out and do all this stuff. And in like a day and a half or even a day, like the transition is amazing. It's like Yeah, it's really cool. People are moved, like there's tears that are shed, and like I told you before, there's nothing like carrying a heavy fridge out with somebody to make you bond for a very long time. Yeah. Yeah, it's seriously such a great weekend and yep. definitely take out the time to be here for this. It's such a great way to you know, bond and connect with your fellow Connections family. Um, you're, you're being such a blessing for so many people. And yep. it's, yeah, it's really cool to be a part of. It's amazing to be a part of. Yeah. We also want you to be a part of our Labor Day party coming up September 3rd. You're going to want to be here for this one. Not August 3rd, September 3rd. <laughs> Dave made a mistake in the email that was sent out. So we apologize for Dave's <laughs> error. Oh, it's great to oh, see. Oh, Dave. <laughs> oh, Dave. We love David, you. as I like to call him. <laughs> But what, wait, you yeah. call him David? Sometimes. I didn't know that. Yeah. David. Try it. Anyway, this is a great chance for our entire church to hang out. Uh, there's games, there's, there's uh, hot dogs, there's food. Who knows what's going to happen this year? There's uh, inflatables, there's music. Our band gets up and rocks out. Everything's and outside. Everything's so outside. A big old stage outside. The band gets up and we just jam I think out. There's cotton, cotton candy, snow cones. It varies every year, it varies but yeah, every year. So you always, have to show up and see how awesome it is. Always food and treats and fun. A fun time. So again, yes. that is not August 3rd, as somebody made the slight error in their email. It is September 3rd. You know, Labor I, feel Day like, party. I feel like people who use their noggin will know, wait, Labor Day isn't in August. That's okay. You know? But we have to call out when an error happens. Yes. And we want you to call out a sign language class. This is going to be awesome. I think this is really, really cool. We've The last couple months, we've had an actual um, uh, ASL person here helping us out, signing for people in our church and also for you watching at home. And that's super cool. Super amazing. I don't yeah. know of many, like I was shocked when we saw it. I was like, that's brilliant. Why didn't we do that sooner? But there's going to be a class here and that is going to be okay. Uh, just when you, I'm, I'm going to read it so I don't mess anything up. Sorry, guys. So uh, not only is it a fun way to learn sign language, but a great way to show the folks that we care and are glad they're a part of our, our church. There's room for 20 yes. people, so you can sign up on our church website. And the classes are going to be on... We don't have a date yet. So look for that, and I can't wait to see how many people are going to be a part of it. We're just letting you know that this is a thing. This that's is coming, coming. yes. 
I just found out about this today for I the first time. I just found out about it too. Yeah. Looking down, I was like, sweet, sign language class, awesome. Yeah. Again, there's room for 20 people. You can go to our church website or follow us on any of our social medias below or click that and it'll take you directly to there. My name is spelled right today. Hey, they got it right. It was wrong last week, but it's right this week. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we have had an awesome time. We hope you guys have an amazing day, an amazing week. We're going to head over to our band, rock it out, and see what Movie Pair is going to talk about.